Hello everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So I found this in the bin and this is a Dyson Cool Bladeless Fan. So I want to try and repair this today and the first step that we're going to be taking is to tear this thing down to check if the circuit is wet and to make sure that all the connections are solid. So let's take it apart. Okay, so I managed to get the bottom of this off. So what I did is I unscrewed all the screws that I could see which did loosen it and I was really confused to why it wasn't coming off. And when I inspected it further, I found that there was one little circlip holding this all together. So, I did try to use these circlip pliers, and I will use these to put the circlip back on. But I couldn't quite get to it, so what I used was just a flathead screwdriver and pried it off, and now it's over here with all my screws. So what I'm going to do is undo all these connections, take this off, and then I'm going to clean up the circuit board. So now that we've taken all our circuitry off, it's time to remove the motor. And this is actually pretty easy. You want to get a good grip around it. You know, almost get it into a choke hold. And just give it a little twist. And that is the motor free. So now that we've taken our motor off, it's time to give it a little bit of maintenance. And this next bit is really easy. To take this plastic ring off, there's a little torque screw that sits right there. And then there's just clips holding this down. So you want to get a nice little pry tool. For me, I'm using a tiny flathead and just pop these clips out. Like so. And now that just comes off. So now that we've got that plastic ring off, the motor should actually just slide out. With a little bit of a wiggle, not much force, it should come right out like so. And it's still connected by a wire, but that should literally just pull out. So I'm going to go clean this up, and once it's cleaned up, I will put this bit back together. Okay, so whilst I was cleaning this motor, I was taking a few more bits off it. So I took this plastic cover off, which was just held in by four torque screws. That bit comes off. And then we've got this bit right here, which is screwed in by slightly bigger screws right here. And once you undo them, this comes off too, and that reveals the motor. So if you're wondering how I'm cleaning up all these parts, I'm basically taking a nice little paintbrush to the small crevices to get rid of most of the dust. And then what I'm doing on the plastic bits is taking the mesh or the sponge out, and all I'm gonna do is chuck these in the sink and give them a nice clean. So that is the motor cleaned up and put back together. Now we can put our big fanless blade back on. And this has to go on a specific way, so this might actually just take a second. So that was a bit of a struggle, but I managed to get it back on. So now this circuit has been cleaned up, the motor has been attached, it's time to put this back on. So all I'm going to do is reattach the wires, screw it down, and then we can plug it in to see if it turns on. So that's everything connected back up, so all I've got to do is put this back on, attach the circlip, and then we can turn it on to see if it works. So now the circuit's back in there and everything's connected up, I've just attached a new plug to see if it will turn on. So this is the first time we're booting this up, and fingers crossed it works. That's working! Oh, damn! That is producing a lot of air. And obviously I can't turn it down right now because I don't have the remote, but we do have a remote upstairs which I'm hoping works. So the controller we had upstairs didn't work on this because it's obviously specific to the model and this is a completely different model to the one that we have upstairs. But for a small price of £25 I can buy a new base plate and a new controller for this which means this thing costs £300-£400 new and I'm basically spending £25 and to me that is the true definition from trash to cash. And because I think this thing is so cool, I'm going to boot it up again. Let's get a bit closer. So with that now being repaired, this brings me to the end of the video. And I've really enjoyed doing this, and I'm so glad that this is actually working now. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments, and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway guys, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you later.